Whoa. That's Waluigi. Wah-ha. I can't remember his voice. You... A Pokemon strain. What should I do? I don't really want to battle. Then don't. Wah. Oh, there, that's there he goes. There he goes. Oh, that's he looks more Wario. Cool. Wow. Yeah. Wario. Yeah, yeah he's kind of down there. Hey, welcome to the watching show. If you're watching it, you did it. You don't have you fulfilled mean, the show's destiny. Yeah. Don't uh, you mean uh, watch, watching, watching show? I'm not doing his voice anymore. Wah, wah, Wario. A show you can Wario. <laughs> show, show. What's going on? It's a Wario show. A show you can Wario. <laughs> that is hilariously dumb. Speaking of hilariously dumb, you know how amazing it'd be if for whatever freaking stupid reason we had the rights and ownership of the war, 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 Wario character? Pick one of them. Like, it's just, it belongs to the watching show. Yeah, Wario. Like, Nintendo like, just gave it, or we, I don't know why. Some legal mishap. That's ours now. Oh, yeah. It just, uh, we would use the heck out of it. Yeah, we the are. The heck. Wow. The Wario watching show. Like, yeah. we just would, uh. That's an oddly specific that's thing why to. That, that's so stupid, but it's also like, what would you do then? If you, you found out you owned a major character. Yeah. That'd be like I'd the kind money. of the equivalent of someone walking up to you and be like, hey. I used to be the owner of Kleenex, but now you are, and you own Kleenex. And then they just give you the deed. And then he dies, and then his magic ring flies away. Yeah, onto (laughs) your finger. (laughs) And then you're like, what? I'm the Green Lantern of Kleenex now. <laughs> and then, and then all the CEOs and stuff, that, or the all the like board of members and board of members, whatever they call like the those people, they're like come to you and they're like business, business. They're all wearing a suit. Business, and, business numbers. Is this working? Yeah, no, yes. but they come to you and they're like, hey, you're the owner of Kleenex now. Our company's succeeding a lot, but. But you gotta you gotta make good decisions, and then you're like, you gotta make good decisions. <laughs> so then I show up in my this clothes, which is not suit and tie. <laughs> but then I walk into the the skyscraper where Kleenex is, and then <laughs> and then they're like having an important meeting, and there's a whiteboard or whatever, or like a technical, like a very technically uh, new whiteboard, and yeah, st- stats and. And, and they're all dressed and very charts. nicely. Yes. Yeah, and they have people uh, giving and them snackies and hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, I was going to say, each one has their own like assistant standing over their shoulder. Right. Oh, yeah. But then I walk in, I say, stop it. Stop and then they're it. like, what? You can't interrupt this or whatever. We have to do clean. It's like level 9 or 75. Like, no. It, well, no, maybe. Bear tick. Sorry, I wasn't trying to interrupt. I just was, wanted to get this right. Oh. 55. Technically possible. Probably tough, though. Sorry. Um, anyway, you break, break into this meeting with everybody in their order serving the assistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then you're, and then I'm like, stop <sighs> what you're doing. And then they're like, you can't. You're just. I know that he gave you the Kleenex company, but you can't make decisions. And then I'm like, oh, but I already have. And then I reveal that I'm also the primary share, shareholder yep, yep. because that's what that's what you do and in movies. And then you go. Didn't you get the memo? Yeah. And then, and then they're like, (gasps) and then I said, and with my share or whatever, I'm going to make the Kleenex company not do Kleenexes anymore. (laughs) Instead, they're going to do cool lettuce Kleenexes. And then they're going to, people have to blow their nose with lettuce. (laughs) You know? No, I don't. Okay, well, it's, what, you get do, ready though. Well, are you doing a rebranding and calling it? Uh, no, it's Kleenexes, but it's just <laughs> lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> it's like full cabbage, you know. I just realized that's his beard. That's kind of cute. Yeah, a little ice. But uh, my beard. my attacks are all ineffective. So I do. I, do I fight with a different one or just run away? I don't know, dude. I got this guy. Get Cockix in there. Well, I, this guy is an ice guy. He won't get hurt, I don't think, by the hail. So I'm just gonna try him. Well, and okay. I'll run away. Okay, okay, okay. Fortune 500 company. You become the CEO because the actual current CEO walks up to you and says, "You own the company now." Okay. So then you walk into the boardroom. What do you do? I missed the whole thing because he's dodging every single attack. I don't know what's happening. Um. So restate everything you just said with the same amount of enthusiasm and none of the annoyance that I know you feel. You become a CEO. 
of a Fortune 500 company. Uh-huh. And then I am. Um, randomly, and then you walk up into the boardroom. What do you say? I say, genius! Genius! I didn't get to where I was without knowing genius when I see it. You there with the kale. And you go, lettuce. And I'm like, oh, it's, it's lettuce. Say, say let, let, yeah, say lettuce. It's lettuce. Re- lettuce! Welcome to the... Do you want to be a Fortune 600 company? Fortune I will 500. buy. You, I will buy you with money. All you have to do, all you have to do is give me your company and I will buy your, your company for twice what it's worth. And then I say, um, I forgot to capture him. I can't do both. Ah, oh, suck. And then I say, no, I I have things to do with this letter. Genius! This man knows how to run a company. <laughs> I will buy. I will buy it for four times as much. All you have to do is that. Okay, but okay. So my one condition is that you have to keep my lettuce idea, but then I'll sell it to you for four times as much. I know madness when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so what do you say? I said, I know madness when I see it. So what does that mean? Yes. <laughs> he shoots himself in the head. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Just, just the old climax. Oh. And then everyone's like, oh my God. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then the window cleaners outside are like, oh! and then they fall off, and then they, and then they're, oh. but they're, uh, they're chains that are oh. attached to their hips. You ever watch window washers? I mean, I know what they look like. They, so look, you, they look just like people. You know how they like clamp like a little bungee cord mm-hmm. so that they, if they fall off the deal or whatever. So if they fall off, they don't. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if they fall <laughs> off, they don't. Yeah. Well, they do, but then they just dangle instead of splat. Yeah. So. Yeah, I seen a guy uh, washing the windows at my work. I'm on the fourth floor, so it's pretty high up. And then this guy, he's got the danglies. But then I watched, uh, they like moved it up to the top floor above us. But I could tell that they were having a tough time reaching this one area. And so he just like, uh, I wish I could describe it, but he like had his hose like tightened. And then he walked to the outside, like walked on it and then used the rope to like push him like vertical or horizontally into the side of the like the bowl he was in, and so he bit, technically was completely outside of the the box, but like holding himself up with the hose to reach like too far down. Okay, now I understand what's happening. Yeah, it you was. Mean, you mean the scaffold, and you mean his. Yeah, his, yeah, his, whatever. His, uh, I keep calling it a bowl, or, but what, but yeah, you mean the hose like that transports liquid? Or you no, mean no, like no, rope? no, rope. Okay, I was getting so confused. I said a lot of weird words. Let's use rope and scaffold. Go. Yeah, okay, rope, uh, and then he was completely outside the bowl. Window. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the scaffold. Scaffolding. But it's not scaffolding because it was one of those extender trucks that have the platform that extends. Genie lift? I don't know, maybe uh, bowl, bowl, <laughs> then, human bowl, yeah, people, people soup, and then people soup, <laughs> and then, but he got out of it and he was just like dangling this way, like his feet were stuck sideways, and he was just like doing this. I was like, wow, that's probably against the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, he was safe. That's a good story. <laughs> <laughs> good ending. I can't believe your story ended by you shooting yourself in the head. No, not my character, not me. I wouldn't do it. But the Fortune 500 guy, he's like, he's eccentric. <laughs> I know madness when I see He's eccentric. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, he's eccentric, Whoa. you know. Yeah. He calls you a genius for not much of anything. And then he makes dumb offers. And then you say something like, um, you say something reasonable. And he goes, I know madness when I see it. <laughs> and he just kills himself. Like, it just escalates. It's like, like, wow. That. It's, it's like, wow. That, that got really hot. Yeah. <laughs> I got all, ooh, it's exciting. <laughs> but then you can imagine, like, he does, so he has to do one more insane thing before he does that. Like, throws a slice of pizza in, at the window and it sticks to the wall. This like, is Like, with the marinara. And then, like, shits on the table and then shoots himself in the head. You know? No, I don't know. So, like, you can imagine, I'm I sorry. know madness when I see it. And he pulls a pizza slice out of his suit pocket, throws it, hucks it at the window, and it <laughs> sticks to the window. <laughs> Marinara first goes, like, everywhere. Then you pull your pants down, you shit a tiny little 
nugget of poop on the table of the conference room, then you shoot yourself in the head. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the, I thought you were trying to make a clean version. Like, um, whoa, wait, what's what's this? Or maybe oh, you do okay. like, okay, okay. Now that's a fun exercise too. Let's do this. Let's okay. I thought you, you, I thought you were trying to say instead of him killing himself, he goes, "I know madness when I see it." We set a pizza slice out of his pocket, just hocks it out the window, and it spikes, and that's it. <laughs> that's and that's it. it. Like that's a funny <laughs> version. Yeah, it's a safer. Yeah. It doesn't escalate all the way yet. We haven't climaxed this conversation. Uh, yeah, no, it's great. So if you want to do this instead, yeah, this is the exercise. Fuck. Okay, the exercise <clears throat> is. You are the CEO of a company that you've just acquired, and you, it's your first oh, board just meeting. Just acquired it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, oh. ju- you, you haven't. You don't know any of these I people. I was a Fortune 500 company. Yes, yet, dude. But but you are the CEO. Okay. He just gave it to you and left because he's crazy. But you, ha- he basically said the condition that you get to keep this company is you have to make a scene on your first, like the the most intense and hilarious scene possible in your first board meeting. I'm very confused about all of this. Okay, well, don't be, because here's what's here's what here's what the situation is. Guy walks up to you on the street. He's well dressed. He's driving like an old car, the kind that is just old enough to make you think, oh, he probably has money. Yeah, like yeah, Bill I get Gates. It. like a like a curvy Rolls Royce. Yep. Okay, and so so he comes up to you and he goes, "Hey, stranger, I want you. I'm sick of all this wealth and success I have, and I want I hate it. I'm signing you, a stranger, over my Fortune 500 company." On one condition, you have to make a scene, Fuck. and a, a, a crazy scene that makes me happy or makes me laugh. Um, <laughs> at the meeting, at the, as at my the board meeting with the, exactly with the with the with the board with of members, my name and my company. Under, yeah, the corporation under badge. Exactly. And so my first thought was, you walk in, you're like, I know. I know madness when I see it and throw you huck a pizza slice at the window and it sticks and slides <laughs> slowly down the window and everyone just looks at you and you just like say, okay, and then you light a cigarette and then put it out immediately without smoking any of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> just, no. Okay. Wow. He's not, he's not dead yet, but he's about to be. <laughs> oh, you're dead now, bitch. Beach. Drop an ice on your ass. I, for, I realize these guys aren't ice, so I can kill them in my super ice attack. I hope they don't have more Pokemon. I've been climbing up this snow hill for the most of this video, trying to get to the top, and they keep making me fight people on the uh, way up. Okay, but it's your turn to earn your CEO ship. You have to go walk in there and be crazy. Um, um, I thought I just threw pizza at the win- I don't understand who I, I am. Did. I'm sorry. That's what I did. Now no, it's your turn. My guy, who's a Fortune 500. I, you can't just take my idea. I'm stressed. Why are you stressed? This is supposed because to be. The fight is very difficult for me, and then I got. Con- I'm getting confused with the characters. Okay, okay. I'm gonna do yours for you then too. Okay. So no, it doesn't help. I have to. Re- but you can do it if you want. But I would prefer to restate everything. Oh, is this who I am? But then you might get annoyed. So I don't want to do it. Too. Yeah, I would be really annoyed because I've said it four times. So here we go. You. This is what you would do. You get the money from the rich guy, right? And then he's like, all right, no, have fun. I, I, I need to clarify. <clears throat> so the 500 guy that you're talking to, I thought that was me earlier. It is now because he just made it you. All right. I'm sorry. This is too difficult. I've There's ruined. another guy, and he gives you all his wealth, basically, including his ownership of the Fortune 500 company. <clears throat> so now I that's all you. That. I just don't how it relates to the whole conversation we had before. It doesn't. It's a separate, oh, fun, okay, theoretical okay. questionnaire. Maybe that's why it's confusing. Yes. So, so... So now I have to go into a meeting and then what's the situation for this meeting, bitch. Yeah. I apologize for interrupting you in the spirit of me telling your story for you. So here I go. (laughs) (laughs) Do you want to do it? I can try. If you don't, if you don't mind me stumbling around, I'm obviously stumbling stumbling really hard. Yeah, you are. Yes. Oh, wait, I think there's another one. Um, Mr. Mr. Walter, we'll see you. We'll see you now. This is Mr. Walter. He's the new CEO of the company. Welcome, Walter. This is this is the board of members. You may make your announcement now. Everybody. Hi. <laughs> Hi. And they all stare at me blankly. Okay, okay, okay. I pull my phone and I look at it. <laughs> I just kind of look at it for like 30 straight seconds with a blank expression looking down at my phone. Okay, and they're like looking at each other and now, like what's the, going on? My, some of them are looking at each other, and then I put yeah. it away and I, I sigh. 
Okay. You guys, and I walk with an arm out, stretched, and I walk slowly <laughs> behind each one of the chairs, and I kind of brush my hands slightly, <laughs> slowly over their chair and their shoulder, and I keep walking as I'm talking. One by one, I'm like slowly stroking, just one as like, one, one at a time as I go by. You guys have been lacking. Oh. You have so much potential, and I see it squandered. All these fancy suits, all your ties, they clash, by the way. Yeah. But every day you come here. And has anything really changed? I'm saying this and it doesn't match my physical energy. I'm like walking by doing this. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they're dismissing the physical stuff because the energy is, is sufficient enough. Okay. I'm keeping them on the edge of thinking I'm, I'm, I'm fake or I'm, I'm legit. Okay. <clears throat> You're probably wondering why I'm here today. Well, today is the day of change. Oh, I'm hoping this is the... Thank God! This is the worst hill ever of all time. Today is the day of change. I stopped and pulled my phone again. <laughs> I'm staring okay. at Blakely. Okay. Put it away. I got to push because they're a little too motivated. I can put it away, make them feel bad or feel like confused. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> put it away. Every day, millions of dollars come in and out of this building on this floor. And what have you done about it, sir? I looked at the one right where my arm is touching. Like, it's on his shoulder. Yeah. And he looks up behind me with, like, a blank face. And he just, he's about to say something, but he's not convinced of my legitness. So he just kind of, like, looks at me, like, sternly. And I go, oh, I, f- I forgot what I asked him. What I, I said, what have, you, what have you done? What do you, you have changed? to say? What do you have to say? And I go, that's exactly the problem. None of you have contributed anything to make this place grow. This building has been here for 30 years. That's whether it's true or not, doesn't matter. This building has been here for 30 years. <laughs> so they're all completely disengaged now. Well, no, they're, they're on the edge of disengaged and like engaged. I like feel like if you just stated an, an in con- like a not accurate fact about how long a building's been there, they're going to check out, you know? Well, so. not at that moment. Okay. Maybe after the fact. Oh. Uh, okay, keep, keep going. Continue. Okay. okay. That thing is shit. This, you right here, you sir, you're the problem. I took me to come up here today to make the change. Here's what we're going to do. All right. You all have stocks and bonds, right? Get rid of that. <laughs> Trade that in for money. And I stopped my, my walking and petting to get into the physical stance because yeah. I want to up the engagement. Yep, yep. For money. Stocks and bonds go away. You know what doesn't? Physical goods. Yeah. Get shit. Get stuff. Get, you have people that work for you. Make them get stuff. Woo! Oh, we okay. can have five more buildings. Just <laughs> get my phone out again. <laughs> you get your phone out again. Third time. And, okay. I, and I go, I'm going to make a face of the phone this time like I'm engaged, like a sexy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like this yeah. is now my attention. Yeah. And then, and then I go, and I go, more buildings, sir. What was the last thing I just said? And he goes, five more buildings. You have potential. Yeah. Gentlemen, and I and I grab a guy's shoulders and I try to physically ask him like, "Okay, get up." I mean, like, I'm motioning like, "Get." I mean, yeah, yeah. And he, okay. Like he, because the engagement's enough to where he's cooperative, so he like kind of un- hesitantly gets up, and I sit in his chair, I put my feet up on a table, and I go, "How many years do you think you have left? Twenty, ten? You sir, you're not going to make it past five. What is your legacy?" And I look at my badge and I go, this is potential. You, sir, what are you going to do with your legacy? Uh-huh. And I, and I just like slowly and awkwardly, like, 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 a like balloon shop. Yeah. Like Owen Rogers climbing over the fence. Okay. I just kind of like awkwardly climb up on the table. So at this point in their minds, I'm weird and dumb, but I'm Crazy. eccentric and engaging enough to where I must know something. Okay. So I get <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, don't, I, know, I don't know how to get back to disengage it back down I go this is my legacy and I pull up my shirt and I touch my left nipple uh-huh. which is my right nipple though yeah, yeah, just yeah. to add the confusion okay, just, yeah, just to yeah. make them be less engaged and I go the first one to tell me my legacy gets his company I point out one at the table. <laughs> and at this point I do not talk until someone else talks. Okay. And then there's just this long, awkward looking around. Yeah. And now someone else has to say something. I'm and now it's your turn to, for like one of the characters to say something. But we gotta finish the story quick because we gotta do this too. So Oh, okay. 
Well, instead of that, I'm gonna do it again because now I'm inspired by yours. Okay, so I now I own the company. Okay, right? I walk in, and I say, "Gentlemen, <laughs> I think you know why we're all here." And then, <laughs> and then I pull out a deck of cards and I go like this and I shuffle, <laughs> and then I say, "Pick a card," and to the to the lady. There's a lady that's sitting there, and she mm. she picks a card out, and I said, "Look at it." And then so she looks at it, and I'm like, "What is it?" <laughs> <laughs> you're the owner of the company who sent me there. That's is that who you're playing? Uh, yeah, you. But uh, I'm playing. Uh, we're the switching roles. Yeah, we're just switching roles. Okay. Yeah. So now you, I'm the guy. You this are is, the owner, but now you're doing this for your amusement. Yeah, yeah. This, okay. This, this, okay. I'm just, I was the foot in the door, and now you're doing it for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay, so so she goes, "It's a it's a seven of hearts." She's like. Funny, there are seven hearts in here, <laughs> and then they look around, and then there's so seven you people. Run out of engagement, and disengagement, right there, like we're legit and not and bullshit. Like, and then I take right the cards, I take the card over here, and I rip it up, and I eat it, and then I throw the other cards across the room into the wall, and I walk just without making any eye contact straight to the corner of the room, and I just stand there, I look at the corner, and then I say, "Just as many hearts become one, if you are <clears> of this body." You will join the congregation. It makes no sense what you just said. But, but then I rip my shirt off. I go, uh -huh. <laughs> I rip it off my body, and I throw it on the ground like really hard. And I say, oh! and then I turn around, and I start doing kung fu moves. Like, oh, oh, hi -ya! and then I like jump up on the table, and I, and I run towards the guy at the very end of the table, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and I stand right in front of him, and I bend down, and I go, ah! I just like scream in his face really hard and then he just looks at me and he's all terrified yeah. and then I kick his cup of coffee over on the ground and I say you're fired <laughs> and then he's just like what I've been working here for him I'm like I don't care and then he like leaves and he's like anybody else want to cross me <laughs> <laughs> and then this one other guy just like kind of rolls his eyes like here we go with another crazy guy again and so I pull my pants down and I pee just a little bit on the floor like <laughs> Yeah, I just, <laughs> and then I put it away, and then he's like, "What is what is going on?" And then they're like, "Someone call the police! This isn't a real CEO." And I say, "Oh yeah," and I pull out from my the front of my pants, well, the real what, CEO, the card. CEO card or the <laughs> certificate, whatever it is. And I put it on the table, and I pee a little bit more on that. <laughs> uh, what do you think about that? I think we made two pretty good entrances. Entrances? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. both did pretty good. The, the narratively, they need to tie together like, okay. our characters. And then you, go. meanwhile, have just been watching me this whole time, and you thought you were the owner, but then I peed on the certificate. No, I knew I wasn't the owner. You sent me oh. there. Okay. You sent me there to say, to say, do something crazy and make me laugh, or like, as I'm tired of being rich, like, I'll send you there as my representative. Okay, well, we're doing a little bit of revisionist history, but that's okay, because what, what, what's happening now is we're both in there, and we've both been crazy at these people. I fired a guy and ripped my but shirt off and peed owner. twice. Who, you're actually the owner? Sure. Who, that's who We're going to revise the history you to should, be you that. You have your legit CEO card. You're actually the owner. Yeah, but in the who theoretical, you were too. I, I was oh, just doing an okay. alternate universe where I am the owner now, and we get to, we, it's the same challenge though it's just a thought experiment okay so there is no ending that's okay well just thought experiment yeah and then i take the pizza slice pizza slice that you threw off the wall <laughs> and i take a bite <laughs> like an aggressive bite <laughs> i think i just like nibble on it a couple times and i just thoughtfully looking out the window with my shirt still off <laughs> and uh maybe my penis is still out too well why penis. not yeah. you know i've peed twice now but yeah. Uh, and then after I take a third bite of the pizza, I put it back on the yeah, wall, yeah, yeah. on the place where it, it was stuck. like an artfully, like, yeah, right, yeah. Where, right where it belongs. That's where, <laughs> that's where little, it goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I say, you all have done good work today. <laughs> I was going to say, that's good, though. I was like, my work here is done. Yep. But, like, that's, just, that's better. You I'm really did, proud you, of what we got. Like, your mood's complete disposition is the opposite <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. You all did really good work today. I'm really proud of what we accomplished <laughs> in this meeting. And then I leave. And meanwhile, you leave. Actually, actually, here's how I leave. I reach underneath the girl from the beginning. I reach under her chair to pull out a backpack. And I put it around my arms. Now I'm shirtless still and my penis is still out. Uh, but then I walk up to the window where the pizza is. And I take my fist and I punch the pizza really hard. And the glass shatters behind it. And I jump out and the backpack is revealed to be a parachute. And I... <sighs> 
and I f- float away. And then I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> you ruined part of the thing I was going to do because I don't know how this would work if the, if the oh, glass shoot. broke. But every, meanwhile, I went staring at the window, open window, like a gasp, just like, but not saying anything. And then yeah. they finally slowly turned their, their gaze back to the shirt, the guy on the table standing there. And I have not moved. I'm still holding up my shirt with one hand and my hand is on my right nipple. <laughs> I have yeah, not moved. It is. <laughs> and then I, and then I, and then, <laughs> and then I do this just, just to end the story. And they look at me and then my hand goes further up my shirt, one on the nipple, and it pulls out a heart of sevens. <laughs> and I run out the window. Just, just dive bomb out the window. <laughs> just dive. Like nervously, like, it's a, like, and there are people, no I, I, like a trampoline moving company is moving a trampoline yeah. at just at the same time yeah, and yeah. you hit it. We're and fine. Boom. It was yeah. staged, but. Yeah, that's great. But, all right. All right. When you're on CD, this is the place where I become a legend that lasts. You get it, don't you, mate? After all, I'm about to come to champion. Like, all right, Jim. That's it. I'm headed straight to the window stadium. Don't waste so much time trying to tell you. It's the other one itself. Ha, ha, ha. You want to make some cheese peas and things? Yeah. Eat some goulash. Time to eat food. That sounds amazing. <laughs>